Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the morphology of the deciduous mandibular central incisors. So these are the deciduous mandibular central incisors. These teeth, they are centered within the deciduous mandibular dental arch. This is the right deciduous mandibular central incisor and this is the and this is the left mandibular deciduous central incisor. So uh, these at uh, the deciduous the mandibular deciduous central incisors they emerge into the oral cavity around the age of eight months and the root of these teeth they are completed by the age of one and a half years. Uh, the mandibular central incisors eventually they are replaced by the permanent mandibular central incisors around the age of six to seven years. Now discuss. Now we will discuss the man, the morphology of the deciduous mandibular central incisors from various aspects. The crown surface it is smooth and there are no developmental depressions. In the permanent mandibular incisor, there are there are developmental depressions on the labial surface. This is a mesial outline of the crown, and this is the distal outline of the crown. So the mesial and the distal outlines of the crown, uh, outline of the crown, they are evenly tapered, and the tooth it look very symmetrical from the mesial and the distal aspects, distal sides. The root of this tooth it is long and it is twice the length of the crown. And it is twice the length of the crown and it is nearly straight. Now this is the lingual aspect. This ridge is an elevation. This is the mesial marginal ridge and this ridge is the distal marginal ridge. So the ridges they can be easily located but they are not prominent so uh, not prominent like the maxillary like in the maxillary deciduous teeth and in the permanent incisors uh, similarly similarly the lingual uh, similarly this is a cingulum it is also not very well developed so this area in between these, these marginal ridges and the cingulum, this area is known as lingual fossa. Now the crown and the root, they converge towards the lingual aspect. Therefore, part of the mesial surface of the crown and the root and part of the distal surface of the crown and the root, they are also visible from the lingual aspect. Uh, this is the mesial aspect of the tooth and the incisor ridge, it is in line with the center of the root. The cervical line curvature, it is more on the mesial side and the surface of the root, it is smooth with no developmental depressions or grooves. Now this is the distal surface of the, uh, of the tooth and on the distal surface there is very little difference as the tooth it is symmetrical on both sides uh, except that the uh, cervical line curvature it is less and there is a very slight developmental depression over here on the root surface which is very uh, less noticeable in this model but there is a developmental depression on but there is a developmental depression on the on the root surface Inside the surface it is nearly straight and there is no curvature. There is a taper on the lingual surface. So there is a taper on the lingual aspect of the tooth. And the labial uh, surface is flat with very little convexity. The labial surface it is flat with very little convexity. The lingual surface it is also flat and it is very slightly concave in the center 
because uh, the marginal wedges they are not very prominent and the, therefore the lingual fossa it is also very shallow so uh, this is a very brief description of the of the deciduous mandibular central incisor if you have any questions please free, feel free to ask in the comments below please also give us your feedback in the comments again thank you so much and stay blessed